I thought about it because you always think that you've made a mistake in your health, you know, health care while you get cancer. Obviously, the body's taken a, a beating <laughs> uh, over the years, but the, the riskiest stunts in your mind that you've ever done? The riskiest stunts? Well, yeah, so when I started in the business, there was no visual effects, there was nothing like that. You know, either you did it or your stunt man did it. If you had to fall out a window, somebody had to fall out of the window. Uh, you know, somebody had to do it. It was either you, me, or my stunt double or a dummy, you know. So um, I think this risky stuff I did, I tried a couple of high falls. One on, I did a movie called The Punisher, and there was a scene which was cut out later, of course, <laughs> when I did the high fall from 40, 50 feet, maybe, 60 feet, something like that, into a bag. I heard my back. I missed, kind of half missed the bag a little. I just did it because I, I was bored. I had nothing to do. I wanted to try it. Did that. I did one thing on Masters of the Universe uh, where in the movie I go on this He-Man, my character goes on this flying disc. And there's a scene where I, I'm in this building and I, and I knock out the glass of a window with my sword, hilt of my sword, and I see the hovering disc and I jump onto it. And as I go, I realize there are no boxes, there's no safety. They forgot that. I'm like, so I, I get uh, ice cold. I realize if I miss this, I'm done, right? I'm dead. And I somehow made it to this, this platform. And typical in those days, I didn't make a big deal. I guess I got a little pissed off, but somebody should have gotten fired, but they weren't. But the jump is real, and that was kind of scary. Uh, and then I did another transfer from a motorcycle to a, a, a Jeep, I mean to a, a Jeep in uh, Red Scorpion. Which those are tough. Yeah, they're what tough. Because you're on the motorcycle sidecar and then you got to jump to the, to the uh, truck. And it's South Africa, of course, where there's no safety and they use the real dynamite for explosions. In those days, it was a war between South Africa and Cuba up in Angola. So it was all real, real troops. And uh, actually, one of the, our instructors had, you know, he got in a real shootout with uh, terrorists. Jeez. And he still had dummy rounds in his gun from working with me on a Friday. And on Saturday, he's in a shootout with some ANC terrorists. But he's so cool. He fires, reloads the gun while that guy is trying to get his bead with an AK-47 and he kills him. Wow. Killed the guy and took his gun and showed it to us the next day. Yeah. Are you, are you glad you did all the stunts? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad I did. I wish I would have been a little more careful with my body because I, I took a lot of beatings, you know. Uh, a lot of times I'd been out drinking and staying up all night and I'd still do a fight or do a fist fight that's, you know, three in the morning and minus 20 degrees in Montreal or something without a warm up, throwing roundhouse kicks. Not the greatest for your hips, but you know, I did it, so. The, the, the lasting impact on your body today is what? You know, the biggest injury I've had is my ankle, which I did in the Swedish military when I was 20 years old. I saw the picture you posted of that thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I did an ankle replacement here now, just, uh, you know, four or five months ago on my left ankle. Uh, but I've had that ankle all the way through the military and through. Uh, you know, all the movies, and, and the, the, the army doctor told, I remember he told me, he saw the x-ray, and he says, Lundgren, no more sports for you. You're done. And this is 1979, so <laughs> he was a bit wrong. I mean, I, I did last another, it lasted another 45 years. What, what about uh, steroids? Steroids, yeah, I tried steroids back in the 80s, 90s. I don't know if it has anything to do with the cancer. Of course, it, it struck me as it could have had something to do with it. Is that something you've really thought about? I thought about it because you always think that you've made a mistake in your health. You know, health care, why you get cancer, like maybe it's only me, but you kind of, kind of blame yourself to some degree for it. But, you know... I think maybe testosterone, there's, there's some connection to testosterone therapy and HGH, you know, growth hormone therapy and cancer in some people. Um, but I, I, you know, I was on steroids when I was younger and for a while and- For how long? On and off maybe for um, 
10 years maybe, between like mid 80s, Rocky, till about mid 90s, I would say. But depending on the kind of movie I made, mm -hmm. if it was very physical, I mean, maybe I'd do more or, you know, but it, it wasn't like I was doing, I mean, I heard of the real bodybuilders, how much they do, like, like testosterone, you can do 150 milligrams a week, and it's quite a bit. That's maybe what I would do. But I hear guys are doing 1,000, 1,200 <laughs> milligrams a week and anabolic steroids on top of it. I just stopped doing it because it wasn't really... I stopped doing movies where I took my shirt off in every scene.